Hello, my name is Jason McDonald. I'm director at the JM Internet Group. Did you know that there are five different match types in AdWords for your keywords? In this video, we're going to explain the five different match types in AdWords and how you can correctly use them to manage your campaigns for best effectiveness. Let's get started. Well, let's look at our agenda for this session. So the first thing we're going to learn and look at is how keywords drive AdWords. We're going to understand that keywords drive the whole process. Secondly, we're going to talk about identifying positive and negative keywords. That's an, an area where I think a lot of people don't think through their keywords on AdWords. Third, we're going to look at the four positive match types and understand how to talk to Google to communicate our match types where we want to show our ads. Next, we're going to talk about negative keywords, which is really match type number five. And then we're going to end up with keyword reporting because guess what? You actually can look in Google uh, in AdWords and see what are the match types, what are the exact phrases that Google matched your ad for. All right, so the first thing we have to understand is AdWords is driven by keywords. Customers enter keywords into the Google search engine, and behind the scenes, through the AdWords interface, you're telling Google when to display your ads by how you enter your keywords. All right, so here's our instructor links. These links are on our website. If you don't have them, you can go to jm-seo.org 21, and that's going to get you to the instructor links and the various uh, materials for the class. All right, so I'm going to use a scenario of catboarding in San Francisco. So I'm going to use this scenario uh, that I like to use when I teach AdWords of I'm a fictional uh, catboarder in San Francisco. I board pets, but only cats for busy San Francisco residents when they're away on vacation. So let's take a look at a search that would matter to me. So I'm going to open up Google. I'm going to look at that search. And we want to look at our matches and start to see um, our issues. So here's our search term, catboarding. Here's our location in San Francisco. Here's our ads at the top left and top right. Now what's going on behind the scenes is customers are putting in keywords, cat boarding, pet boarding, dog boarding, iguana boarding, cat veterinarian, cat snowboarding, who would have thought. And Google is matching the ads based on the relationship between the keywords entered by the searcher and the keywords behind the scenes um, on the ad. And you can already see here's an ad that has got an issue. It's a dog boarding ad that's showing up on a catboarding search. You can see that you can start to have troubles. Okay, so that's our first thing to understand is keywords drive Google and we want to start to understand what are our positive keyword matches, what are our negative keyword matches. All right, so we're going to think through what searches are definitely our customers, what searches do we have what do we call crossover in, where they might be our customers, but they might not be our customers, and what searches are definitely not our customers. So in our cat example, definitely our customer, cat boarding. Might be our customer, pet boarding, animal boarding. Could be looking for cat boarding, could be looking for dog boarding. Definitely not our customer, dog boarding. So we want to look at our keywords and map out what are the keyword match types? What are the actual words that people might use and start to see this problem of what we call crossover, dogs versus cats? All right, now we need to learn to speak Google. So we need to learn to tell Google through the AdWords interface where to set our ads. So this is the where the rubber really hits the road here is in understanding how to talk to Google. So. I've got a nifty little link here over to the Google blog, and it's a nice little JPEG that they built. It's a nice little uh, hidden blog post over there in the Googleplex. And they use this term, formal shoes. So we're going to look at that. We're going to sort of flip back, back and forth with the whole cat issue. So formal shoes, no quotes, formal shoes with pluses in front of them. That's what's called modified bras. Formal shoes with quotes formal shoes with brackets. These are your four positive match types in Google. And let's understand what those mean. Let's start from the easiest one. Formal shoes. If we enter into AdWords bracket bracket, so bracket formal bracket shoes, that means show my ads if and only if that's all they enter. So in our example, bracket cat bracket boarding, only if they enter cat boarding. 
If they put cats plural boarding, doesn't show my ad. If they put cat boarding San Francisco, does not show my ad. That's the most narrow match type, exact match, and you indicate that in AdWords with brackets. Second match type is phrase match, quote formal shoes quote. So in our example, quote cat boarding, then your ad would show San Francisco cat boarding, it would show your ad. Cat boarding in San Francisco, it would show your ad. Best cat boarding, that would show your ad. So that's the bracket. The words must appear next to each other, no modifications. Now let's jump up to the worst match type or the most troublesome match type. This is what most people do in AdWords. They just type their keywords with no brackets, no plus signs, no quotation marks. And here's where you can get into some trouble. Google will substitute for you. So if you just put in cat boarding, it may actually match your ad based on substitutions, which can be way off the map. So in this example, they say, oh, dress wingtips. So there's no formal shoes showing up that the searcher is entering, and Google is sort of thinking for you and saying, good enough. Now, this match type is what we're seeing over here, cat boarding. And the guy who was, up, of course, it, 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 um, let me click back over here to get it to go. This guy over here, the dog boarding match, that's because the match type is not correctly set in this ad. That's why it's showing that ad. So that's where you get into trouble. That's called broad match with modifier. The, what most people think of when they put in their keywords is what's actually called modified broad. So you put plus signs in front of each one of your keywords. So plus formal, plus shoes. And that means Google don't think for me. It will do minimal substitutions such as misspelling, or it will do singular versus plural. But it won't jump out of the fence here and substitute wingtips for shoes, substitute dogs for cats. Now, how do we know what are the substitutions? Go to Google, type in tilde and your keyword, cat, and it'll give you some sense of the substitutions that it thinks are similar words. So cat, it thinks is similar to caterpillar because of the man of the uh, uh, industrial production company. It also thinks animals. Now, we know we've done a little research. We thought some people might put in animal boarding. So let's say we set our ad for animal boarding, and it's going to tell us animal boarding is going to get us into some trouble because it matches dog, it matches horse. So the tilde command is a little preview on your match type. So this uh, JPEG, get it from the class materials, extremely important to understand those match types. Okay, now let's look over into AdWords. Where do we set them? So I'm going to drill into AdWords. I'm going to show you where do we set them in AdWords. And I'm assuming for this little webinar, this little YouTube webinar, that we understand geotargeting and all the things that we teach in the class. So I'm leaving all that out of here. Now, within your ads, go into your ads. Whatever, this is an example of ads that we've run before. Click on your ad. So drill down into an ad. Click on your keywords. Click Add Keywords. And here's where you have to speak Google. You have to type in bracket cat boarding if you want to do exact, plus cat, plus boarding, which is the one I generally recommend people use, which is modified broad, quote cat boarding quote. And you can do broad match if you want. Here's where you set your match types. If you are running on AdWords already, you didn't know what you're doing, and you go look at your ads, and you click on your keywords tab, and you don't see any quotation marks, no brackets, no plus signs, no nothing, you are running on broad match, the most dangerous match, match type. So go and look at that. That's how you get that setting. Uh, from your match types. You want to understand your four match types. I have them in the instructor links. Those are our four positive match types. You have to learn to speak Google by when you put your match types into AdWords using brackets, quotes, or pluses. Most people, what I recommend you use is the modified broad. You put the plus signs so you don't get into trouble. Okay, now that's learning to speak Google. Let's talk about our negative match types. A negative match types means it's definitely not our customer, and we want to be able to set negative keywords. Negative keywords are ways to prevent our ad from being shown. So what are we talking about here? Negative might be something like 
dogs, for instance, is negative, right? So if they put in dog boarding, we don't want them. If they put in sitting, maybe we don't do sitting. I have some examples up here. Maybe they don't do, we don't do cat sitting. If we think about cat sitting as being sort of temporary and maybe we have a, a weekly minimum and we don't do like, you know, you're at work and we keep your cat for six hours because you're really neurotic and you don't want kitty to be alone type of thing. So that would be a negative. Veterinarian would not be our customer, right? So we might be interested in people that put in cat boarding, but not cat boarding and veterinarian help. Okay, so we've got to know our negative keywords. Negative keywords tell Google, do not show my ad if that occurs. Where do you set your negative keywords? When you click add keywords, you can just put in minus sign, veterinarian. That would say, if they put in that keyword, don't show my ad. So a good way to do this would be plus cat, plus boarding, with a negative keyword for negative veterinarian. Okay, so let's say we didn't serve a certain neighborhood in San Francisco. Like, let's say we don't do downtown. We can put downtown as a negative keyword. So what that means, going over to Google, is if they, let's say we put this, mod, this match type here, we put plus cat plus boarding with a negative of downtown. So they go to Google, and they're in San Francisco, and they type in cat boarding. it'll show our ad. Let's say they put in best cat boarding, it'll show our ad. Now let's say they put in best cat boarding in downtown San Francisco. Because we have told Google that downtown is a negative keyword, when they type in that negative keyword, it will not show our ad. So your negative keywords are useful if you know there's a stop word, there's a type of word clearly not your customer. Let's say you were not the cheapest in town. They type in cheap cat boarding. Cheap, see people are typing that in, aren't they? Cheap, and you're not the cheapest, but you're the best. Cheap can be a negative cat, uh, keyword. So you'd put in minus cheap. Free is often a negative keyword because people who type in free have no money. So you want to know your negative keywords and you enter them in the same location. So you got to, got to, got to know your four positive match types, and you got to go your negative match type. And on your negative match type, you have to know where you enter them, which is on the Keywords tab. Now, if you're already running with ads, you can modify them by clicking here. Mod you can change this by putting what you want, exact or phrase. You can put plus signs in front of it to do modified brand. They don't make it super easy, but you could type in plus plus and change that if you wanted. I'm going to cancel out of that because this is actually a broad match campaign for us. Go to the very bottom, click on negative keywords. You can add your negative keywords in this way as well. So I recommend you create a list of negative keywords and add them to your ad campaigns at the bottom of the screen there. So that's where you add them. You have to know that. All right, so we've learned to think about our keywords, we've learned to think about keyword crossover and look for bad match types such as cat veterinarian or maybe we don't service downtown, the problem of dogs, things uh, like animal boarding versus cat boarding, etc. Most of us, when we get started, we don't understand this. We just type our keywords in with no quotes. Wouldn't it be amazing if Google would show you the exact phrases that are entered by the searcher? And then you can go and learn over time and get rid of keywords that are bad for you. You can adjust your match types. You can look for negative keywords. Guess what? They do have that data in AdWords. It's just hidden. So go over to your campaign. I'm going to use this example. This is a broad match campaign for us. And I'm going to open up my data to all time so I get a lot of data. You have to have sufficient data for this to work. So drill down to your ad group. Select a lot of time, usually all time. Click on the keyword details. It's a little hidden in the middle of the screen. You're on your keywords tab. So you've drilled down into an ad group. You've opened up all data, all time. You've got to your Keyword tab, you click on Keyword Details. Keyword Details, All, and voila, it's going to show you what the keywords were that are people entered. Now, if this little green button is there, that means you typed that phrase in. It's a very tight match for you. If 
the green button is not there, it means Google thought for us. So we were going off of SEO training and it matched us on search engine optimization for dummies. It said close enough. So sometimes, not a big deal, you're going to be okay. Now, if it's something you don't like, like we didn't like the word tutorials, it didn't generate good conversions for us, you can then exclude it by adding it to your negative keyword. They do make this relatively easy. You can check here. Go up to the top, uh, where do they set this in actions? Add as negative keyword and off you go. So you can use this to get to where your keywords are running and find your negatives and, and enhance it. So over time you can train Google to show your ads the way you want. Now how do you get there? Again, go into your ad group, keywords, keyword details. If you want to just look at one keyword, select it keyword details selected and it's going to show you what did it match that one so SEO training you can see all of the different matches that it matched for courses in SEO Chester right $50 certification web analytics cert, cert, cert certification that's not a good match at all so you can go and look at it so you want to understand where you find them uh, inside of Google so those are our match types in AdWords, our four positive match types, our negative match type, and we also covered where you go to learn where you actually are matching uh, on Google AdWords. For all the materials, there's not a quiz for this. It says quiz, but there actually isn't. Uh, for all the materials, go to jm-seo.org slash 21, and that's going to get you to the materials for this class. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll be continuing with uh, AdWords as your AdWords journey continues.